because you love physical media, because I love physical media, because I'm your physical media sensei, and this is the physical media dojo. <laughs> but seriously, for all you physical media lovers out there, have I got an enormous physical media haul and several unboxings of exquisite new releases to share with you today. Welcome to Piz Owl Home Video. Let's start with a box set, and this is a pretty hefty box set at that. I caught this box set on sale at a price that I just couldn't say no to. I'm not a fan of every movie in this series, but again, the price was right. I couldn't say no. I'm talking about the Paranormal Activity Ultimate Chills Collection. This set includes Paranormal Activity, Paranormal Activity 2, 3, 4, The Marked Ones, The Ghost Dimension 3D, Next of Kin, and Unknown Dimension, the story of Paranormal Activity. I'm guessing that is a documentary about the Paranormal Activity series. But this is a very nice box set. Paramount did the series justice. Each movie comes in its own case. When you put the cases together in the box, you have this shadowy hand coming out at you, which is uh, pretty cool. It's been a while since I've seen any of the Paranormal Activity sequels. The first film, I think, is solid. The second film, I recall being kind of boring. The third film, I remember liking a lot. Don't remember very much about the fourth film. The Marked Ones, I thought, was okay. Ghost Dimension, which this is actually... Ghost Dimension comes in a 3D Blu-ray. So if you're one of the few people out there who had a 3D player and a 3D television, then you can watch The Ghost Dimension in 3D. Um, I don't think I saw The Ghost Dimension in 2D, let alone 3D. Uh, and Next of Kin, which I did see Next of Kin, and I thought it was... I thought it was okay. But anyway, very nice box set for the Paranormal Activity series from Paramount. Next up, from Arrow, I have got Black Sunday. This is the special edition of Black Sunday, the John Frankenheimer film. It's been many, many years since I last saw Black Sunday, so I am interested in revisiting it on this release uh, from Arrow. You've got a great cast here, including Robert Shaw and Bruce Dern. You've got a lot of special edition contents. This looks like a really nice release for Black Sunday from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. Here's another new Arrow Video release and another special edition Blu-ray release for The House That Screamed. I've heard mixed things about The House That Screamed. I've never actually seen the film before, so this will be a first time watch for me. But this release is absolutely loaded with special edition contents. It's also pretty heavy, so there must be a booklet inside, maybe a poster. Um, this looks like a really nice release for The House That Screamed. If you've seen The House That Screamed, let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments. And I do like the artwork that's on the slipcase, but the artwork that is on the sleeve is also really cool. Next, I've got a package here from Amazon. This package includes two Blu-ray releases. So let's see what they are. Ah, first up is the Shout Select. Collector's Edition release for The Burbs. This is another release that was on sale. I could not pass it up. I've not seen The Burbs in many, many years, but this was a movie that was just on cable television all the time while I was growing up, and I watched it a number of times and always had a great time with it. This release does have a number of extras on it, including a commentary with writer Dana Olson, uh, we get uh, a making of documentary. We get an alternate ending. We get the original work print, which includes deleted and extended scenes 
Very interesting. And this is, of course, a Joe Dante film. So yeah, I'm looking forward to revisiting The Burbs, uh, courtesy of this collector's edition release from Shout Select. And let me know your thoughts on The Burbs down in the comments. Here is another Shout Select release. And this is a movie that I've not seen in many, many years. It's a collector's edition as well. No slipcase, though. I don't know if this release came with a slipcase or not. If it did, let me know. But this is Nighthawks with Sylvester Stallone and Rutger Hauer. This is a movie I don't hear a whole lot of people talking about, but I remember it being really good. Again, it's been many, many years since I last saw it. It was on sale on Amazon. I could not pass it up. Uh, we got some new interviews on here with producer Herb Nana's uh, writer, Paul Silbert, director of photography, James A. Contner, actors, L Lindsay Wagner and Catherine Mary Stewart and police consultant, Randy Jurgensen. So got some new interviews on this release. It also comes with a theatrical trailer. What would a Blu-ray release be these days without the theatrical trailer on there? But I am definitely looking forward to revisiting Nighthawks for the first time in many years. As a matter of fact, this is going to be near the top of my watch list uh, for the upcoming weeks. And Nighthawks, let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments as well. Here is another package from Amazon. It's another item that was on sale that I could not pass up. I needed this particular physical media item like I needed another hole in the head. It is for a collection of movies, a series of movies that I already own many many times over, but I could not pass up on a good deal. A good deal is a good deal. Um, even though I, I really didn't need it. So is it that good of a deal? Anyway, shout out to UPS for helping me, uh, at least with about eh, 40 to 45% of this, uh, opening. Um, I guess they just kind of wanted to take a peek inside to see what it was just curiosity got the best of them. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it was just an accident, but anyway, appreciate the, uh, the assist here, but I'll, I will, I will do the rest. So there we go. And this is a steel book item that makes it worth the, uh, that makes it worth the, uh, octuple dip. I'm talking about the Friday the 13th 8 movie collection steelbook. I know, I know you're probably rolling your eyes at me. You probably let out an audible groan. You're probably saying, Piz, you already own all these movies many, many times over. And that's true, but I don't own them all in a steelbook set. And this comes with eight collectible cards that um, I really needed too. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and open this thing up and let's take a look at it together. Um, oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. I, I forget how much it was, to be honest, um, but it, it wasn't very much. And, and I mean, look, look, Roy is on the back of the steel book. I mean, that's worth the price of that's worth it alone. Roy is on the back of the steel book and there's nothing like opening up, um, any kind of physical media release to find that, uh, there's a disc just rattling around loose inside. Um, these discs appear to be. Oh, wow. These are, um, hmm. Uh, just plain baby blue discs. And I am also seeing that, um, looks like, uh, five and six and seven and eight are on, um, they've got two movies to a disc for those and, um, parts one, two, three and wait a minute. Where's four? Hold up. There's, there's three. 
there's two, there's one, here's five, five and six are on the same disc. Seven and eight are on the same disc. And the final chapter has somehow been placed behind seven and eight instead of being placed behind part three. Did anybody else's steelbook set come this way? Here's what the inside looks like with all of the discs removed. Here are the uh, collectible cards. Let's get them out of their shrink wrap. So here is the collectible card for part one. There's the back. Here is part two. Looks like you've got the poster designs on the front and on the back, you've got a little scene from the movie. Part three. Here we have part four. Ah, and part four. We've got Crispin doing the dance on the back. Very nice. That is a good shot from the movie. Here is part five. And on the back of it, we have got Roy. Part six. On the back, we've got Tommy and Jason grappling on the, uh, the boat in, within the Ring of Fire. Part seven. On the back, you've got Jason there with the... Uh, Whatever that implement is, uh, 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 whatever that implement is. And here we have got Jason Takes Manhattan on the back. We've got that image. And I just realized that there's really no room inside the steel book to put the cards. So, um, I guess I could just uh, put the cards somewhere else. I am really glad I did not pay a lot of money for this. However, I am happy to be able to add it to the collection and, um, Roy's on the back. Come on. Next, I've got a package from Scream Factory. This is a new Blu-ray release that I purchased directly from Scream Factory. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wager that you probably know what this release is. It is for a movie that has been uh, a long time in the coming to have its own standalone Blu-ray release. And I'm talking about Dr. Giggles. That's right, Dr. Giggles finally has its own standalone Blu-ray release from Scream Factory. This is not a collector's edition release or anything like that. However, it appears to have a number of extras on the back. We've got a making of featurette uh, with new interviews with the director and a never-before-seen archival interview with actor Larry Drake. We've got a new interview with film music historian Randall D. Larson, vintage featurettes, the theatrical trailer, VHS teasers, and TV spots. So not quite a collector's edition release, but we've still got what sounds like some nice new extras on here, nevertheless. And I'm looking forward to seeing the film um, for the first time in... It's been a little while. I, I, the last time I saw the film, I actually did a review of Dr. Giggles for the channel. Um, but yeah, this is a fun slasher. And uh, I'm glad to be able to add it to the collection on Blu-ray. Let me know your thoughts on Dr. Giggles down in the comments. And let me know if you've picked up this Blu-ray release as well and your thoughts on it. It's just a shame that the late, great uh, Larry Drake is not still with us to provide an interview or a commentary for the film. But um, yeah, nonetheless, still glad to be able to add Dr. Giggles to the collection. And I know, Je and I know Jeremy is also going to be excited to see this Blu-ray for Dr. Giggles as well. Hey, Bubba. What's this? Dr. Giggles Blu-ray. What do you think of the Dr. Giggles Blu-ray? Cool. Think it's cool? Yes. What does Dr. Giggles say? <laughs> you want to watch it later? Yes. Okay. We'll book an appointment with Dr. Giggles. Giggles.
All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. I've got a package here from MVD Entertainment. There are three titles inside this package. So let's tear it open and see what we got. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. We've got, um, we've got some doozies here. First up, we have got Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolarama Part 2. Of course, the original film is a sleazy, cheesy 80s classic. Um, I've not heard very much about the sequel, to be honest. So if you've seen uh, Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolarama 2, please let me know your thoughts. I am definitely interested in uh, in checking the movie out. It looks like it looks like a good time, and I'm certainly hoping that it is a good time. Actually, directed by Brink Stevens. Okay, I did not know that. So Brink Stevens, Scream Queen, who was in the original Slime Ball Bolarama, actually directed the sequel. That's cool. Next up is an '80s shot on video horror flick. It is for Night Feeder. I'm going to do a review of Night Feeder. Um, it sounded like something that um, would really be right up my alley. So I'm excited to visit Night Feeder and uh, do a review of it. Um, I've got a soft spot for uh, shot on video horror and um, this one looked to be uh, quite a doozy. So I, I'm excited to visit Night Feeder. And the shot on video goodness does not end there. Because I've got Night of the Zodiac. And allow me to read to you the plot synopsis on the back of this release. And I quote, A psychotic shot on video filmmaker is commissioned by the aging Zodiac killer to make a movie about him all while collecting more slaves for paradise. How could I say no to Night of the Zodiac? I'm really looking forward to checking this movie out. And I've saved the big guns for last. I've got two packages here from Diabolic DVD, both of them pre-orders both of them for fancy pants releases so without further ado let's open them up all right first up let's see this is the both of them are heavy this is the less heavy of the two so i think i know what the heavy one is but let me just oh here we go here we go Little spoiler, I'm wearing the right shirt. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Cauldron. Cauldron. <sighs> the... <sighs> So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that when it comes to Lucio Fulci, for me, my two favorite Fulci films are Zombie and City of the Living Dead, a.k.a. The Gates of Hell. But more often than not, I always lean toward City of the Living Dead. This is the new Cauldron Films, special edition, limited edition, uh, crazy awesome, super killer edition for the film, just get a load of that artwork there. I'm going to do a full in-depth review of both the movie and this release, so I'm not going to tear anything open just yet, but um, the packaging for this release looks really nice. Love the artwork. This is a 4K, of course. Um, we also get the soundtrack CD right there. We get a poster which oh this is this is one of my all-time favorite poster art designs i remember seeing this in the video store as a kid and it just it hit it it, it hit hard i love the gates of hell artwork 
gorgeous poster, and we even get stickers. Look at these stickers. You've got the priest hanging himself. You've got the, the, the lady puking her guts out. You've got the, the worms in the face. You've got um, uh, what's his name getting the drill through his, his, his head. You've got the love doll. Oh, wow. Stickers. City of the Living Dead stickers. It truly is a day of days. I'm excited about this release. I'm sure you can tell. I can't wait to dive into it and uh, keep your eyes peeled. There will be a full re full review of the movie and this release from Cauldron. And last, but certainly not least, this is a uh, second sight release 4K that has been uh, a long time in the coming. And this thing is heavy. This feels like a freaking brick. Holy crap. Let's go ahead, get it open. I'm sure you already know what it is, but um, man, it is really freaking heavy. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. This is another gorgeous looking second sight release. It is, of course, the 4K for George Romero's Martin. I'm not going to open this release up either. I will do a full review of the movie and of this release in the very near future. So keep your eyes peeled for that. We have got a ton of special features on here, limited edition contents. We've got booklets. We've got a booklet. We've got cards. There's this thing is just, this thing is loaded. Absolutely loaded. Love that artwork. Um, yes, it's been a long time in the coming. I have heard some mixed things about the 4k, uh, transfer, but I've not seen it for myself. So, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to revisiting Martin for the first time in many years, courtesy of this release from second side films, the long awaited, much anticipated, uh, limited edition 4k. So to recap this epic, I love physical media physical media hall video, um, got the second sight limited edition 4k for George Romero's Martin. I will do a full review of the movie and of this release in the very near future. Keep your eyes peeled. Got the cauldron 4k release for my favorite Lucio Fulci film city of the living dead. I will do a full review of the movie and of this release also in the very near future, um, from the from MVD Entertainment, I got Sorority Babes and the Slime Ball Bolarama 2. And two shots on video nasties that just sound right up my nasty alley. Night Feeder and Night of the Zodiac. I got the Friday the 13th 8 Movie Collection Steelbook. Just cause. And again, Roy's on the back. I got the new Arrow Video Special Edition release for John Frankenheimer's Black Sunday. The Arrow Special Edition release for The House That Screamed. I got the new Scream Factory Blu-ray for Dr. Giggles. I got the Shout Select Collector's Edition releases for both The Burbs and Nighthawks. And I got the Paranormal Activity The Ultimate Chills Collection from Paramount. Let me know your thoughts on this epic physical media updates and unboxing video. If you've picked up any of these releases, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on them down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.